There's never a time in my adult life that Chip and Mary were not there, side by side, encouraging me and, and, and teaching me how to be a good friend. Well, when Chip started his career, he actually left Macon and started driving, and he ran across Moultrie. And I don't know if he found Moultrie or Moultrie found him. Mr. Chip was a very, very generous man that, that I just have a lot of admiration for, the way he carried himself, his honesty, and whatever he said, you, you, would, you could take it for face value, that he was very much a man of his word. He was always in a great mood. He was just, had a really great dry wit about him, a great sense of humor. Chip was just, just a great person and turned out to be a really good friend. Chip and Moultrie are a match made in heaven, in my opinion, again. I'm surprised we didn't build a statue. We might just give him a court, too, but he is someone that knew the importance of Moultrie and how to make Moultrie grow. Chip loved this why. Uh, you know, he served on all kind of different boards. Chip understood the importance of what this why meant to our community. He put his heart and soul into this why through his time, his efforts, fundraising. What really jived in my memory um, is about uh, being a scholarship recipient of here at the Y. And it wasn't until later my mom was telling me if it wasn't for the, you know, the generosity of the people in this community and the people at the Y that let her know about the scholarships, I'm sure when she was struggling being a single parent, uh, working a couple of jobs. You know, I can't help but think that that definitely uh, had, a, had a very large impact on, on my life for sure. And, and of course, Mr. Chip serving so much as he did here in the Y and giving as much as he did in the Y, can't help to think of how much of an impact that had on my life as well. When Chip passed, um, we were all shook uh, by that. And, and Chip absolutely uh, loved teenagers. He loved people. And so we tried to figure out a way that we could just honor uh, that legacy. And then the idea of, of Chip's Court uh, came uh, out of that. So whenever I look out there and see Chip's Court, it, it, it kind of makes me smile externally and internally because I know that, you know, he had some great memories here at the Y playing basketball but also, you know, the future of Moultrie can come in here. And they may not know Chip, they may not know who Chip was to us, but they'll always know that that space belongs to Chip Stapleton. Moultrie George is better for having a Chip Stapleton because he knew the importance of caring. By giving to Chip's Court and to Chip's Fund, uh, you are supporting not only our teenagers, but our community, and I just want to say thank you. Uh, thank you for your heart, thank you for what you've done, and the impact of your gift is just a ripple in a pond. It truly is. Chip's Court is a place of safety, uh, is a place of uh, fun, as a place of laughter, and a lot of these kids don't have that in their homes. Chip's Court, again, is so much greater than just that court. So I want to say thank you uh, for your investment and for your kindness.